Look at the fuse on this. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop and give me an hand! rest that's one of our branded good girl you barely have to stay I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims let's go and find out shall we very good to East Pool, leave him in the park. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool.
to the marshes then. Let's find that ladder. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Very good to East Pool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. That's enough. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, right? Sword from its scabbard. Here, has this thing always been glowing? I hear the levers are due to go up again. Do you like that? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. 
They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young, far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then? Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient, all right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Catch your eye. Take care out there, eh? Come and have a look. Don't be fresh shy. cuts, fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here.
You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard if it weren't for that mark. decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. The curse has taken them. All of them. 
as it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Fresh cuts. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. 
So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm 
sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Ta-ra then.